Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to append worksheets together and have a value in that worksheet be a part of a category column. So what does that mean? Let's say that we have these generic worksheets here. They're all the same format. But you notice that on the second row, we have the state indicating the categorization for these ranges, right? So we have Virginia, Maryland earlier, and California. And we want that to have a separate row here. So it's going to look, when we pin all these ranges of data together into one table, it's going to look like this. And here we're going to have it all in one table. And we've got our column here for our state. And it gives us a category for the rest of the data here. Now, this is a small table. These are small. There's only four worksheets here. And it's pretty easy to do. Just copy and paste. But what if these were 20 tabs, 10 tabs, 20 tabs, 30 tabs? You have to do this on uh, a recurring basis. And your table is large. Then it would be kind unwieldy. But we can do this with Power Query. So here I am in a blank worksheet. I'm just going to pull that other worksheet into this blank worksheet and put it into that table. Now with Power Query, all you need to do is go into data, go get data from file and from workbook. So I'll go ahead and navigate for that workbook. Here's my file, double click it to bring it in into the navigator window. You can see we had sheet one, which was California, sheet two, uh, Virginia, th sheet three, Maryland, and f uh, Florida for the fourth one. So I, those are all the correct sheets. I'm going to click on the workbook here, click on transform data. It's going to bring up the Power Query window, and we're going to do some transformations in the Power Query window. And so what we need to do here is get rid of the other columns. The data resides in this data column, right? So each of the tables for those four worksheets in their respective rows. So I'll click up here, right click, and remove other columns, because I just want this column. Click on expansion arrows. I will take the defaults. I don't need to worry about that because I'm going to change the column headers later on. Now we're going to look for some patterns. And some patterns here are when we looked at the worksheets, we had that first row, which, which was state, and then the California, and then we have state and Virginia. And after that was a blank row. So there's some patterns there. So we, we can remove those blank rows. So go under home, remove rows, remove all the blank rows. Right? And so I've got that. Now another pattern we need to look at is with that first row where we want to pull out that state name after, after the other columns are null, there's nothing in there. But of course, all the values below have some text or some string values. So there's our other one. So let's try to see where we can pull some patterns out here. I'm going to go under Add Column and Add a Conditional Column. And here we're going to use like two helper columns to help us pull out that, that um, category, that state. I'll leave the name custom name is fine. I'm going to change it later on. But for the column name, I'm going to look at the column three and column four because there's that difference between the state row and the other data rows, right? There's empties here, but the other ones don't have empties. So I'm going to look at column three. If it does not equal, if it does not equal no, then we'll have the value of zero. And then we're also going to look at column four. For column four, if it does not equal no, we'll also have zero. And if it does, then we'll have the number one. Click OK. And now we'll know that our first row, it does have a potential value for us to use as a column. That California here and the Virginia here. So I have to add another conditional column. Go to Add Column, Conditional Column. And here, I'm going to say if custom, the one we just created, equals one, then pull back that value from this column two, that California, in this case, the first one here. So we'll say select column, and this will be from column two. Otherwise, blank, no. Click OK. And we see here, there was a one here, brought back that value here in column two, which is California. Same thing here. We had, call, we had one, it brought back Virginia. And that's what we needed. So I don't need this column anymore. Right click, remove. And now what we can do is we can fill down these rows. Because you can see here that all these values are part of California. All these values here are Virginia, etc. for Maryland. So I'll go to right click and select fill, fill down. And that's my values down there. Now I also need to get rid of anything that says state here, right? Because I don't, 
those are repeating. I already have California here in this other row, so I don't need this one anymore. So filter it, find state, and uncheck that. Click OK. And our next thing we have to take care of is having headers. We, can no we notice that these are headers here, full name, email, department, and gender. So we're going to promote this. All right, so go under home, use first row as headers. But we have to remember all our other tabs, those worksheets, they also had this header. Full name shows up here for Virginia, that, that row, and also for Maryland, that row. So we need to uncheck that. So go under here, uncheck full name, it gets rid of that. So now we just have all our records and we have our state. But there's one thing missing here, which is this. This needs to say state, not California. But there's going to be a problem here, but I'm going to, I'm just going to type state here, and it looks like it's going to be just fine, but I'll show you what can happen later on if we had this particular step here, just rename that state. Click close and load, and we would think this is fine because it's going to load onto our worksheet, and it will, well, let's see it didn't load, so let's right click what happened here. Load to, oh, let's load it to the, let's load, it, load a table on this worksheet, click OK and it loaded here, right? Usually it would load already on the worksheet, but I did this earlier and I deleted it, and so I had to right click load to worksheet again. But you can see, this is what we wanted. We have our states, right? For each of the records, these are our header, this is our header here, and these are our values. But what if something happened? What if this is a workbook that we don't own, that we got from somebody else, and we're using just a blank Excel worksheet to pull from there, and if they change things around, it could mess it up for us. That's why that last step there where we change the name, we, we want to make that generic. Let's see what can happen. Let me go back to the other sheet. So here I am in the other sheet, and let's say these got moved around. Sheet 2 got moved up here, and let's save that. And once we save that, Virginia is the first sheet here, not California. You can see where this is going to get messed up. So I'm right back here in my Power Query output sheet, and I'll just right-click this table, and select refresh and I'm gonna get an error and the reason why I get that error because it's looking for California at that last step how do we make this generic we'll show you how we'll go back into the Power Query editor double click and that last step so we can see in that last step in the M code this step says we're gonna rename a column look in the column that says California and changes the state we want to make it generic so that step there where I, had, I renamed my columns here I'm going to remove that. Let's see if we can, there's anything else here that we need to remove. i pull that up. I'm going to go up to this part where we filtered the rows and brought in, actually, I'm going to repeat these steps here, but the only thing that's going to be different is this rename column where I'm going to change some things here. So let's go back up to the part before we promoted the headers. I'll select promo headers, right click, and delete until end. Click delete. Let's see, it shows California still is first, so let's refresh this. Yeah, now Virginia is going to come up first. So, what we need to do here is we're going to promote the headers, that's fine. And we're going to call this one, we're going to change Virginia to state. All right, and so that's our next step. But here, we're going to change this code. So, I'm going to change the code here a little bit, and I'm going to add some M code. And some functions we add is list dot last, open parentheses, and then table dot column, capital C column names, open parentheses, hash mark, and then the table it's going to bring back from the last step is promoted headers. So promoted headers, I'll just click on that, and it removed Virginia. Close the parentheses once and then twice press enter and nothing seems to happen but when I close and load this it will bring it back here and we already had Virginia as the first one but if we went back to our other worksheet we see Virginia here was first let's move back California wait well let's move Florida up. let's move Florida up here to the to this place in the first worksheet and save that go back into the other worksheet. So here we're in this worksheet. If I right click and click refresh, you'll notice Florida comes up. So that's how we can make it kind of generic and kind of dummy proof it if our tabs get rearranged. So that was what that particular step had done. That last step there when I open it up here, 
this last step here where it promoted the last value of that column that I brought back. So instead of having a statically rename Florida or Virginia to state, it would just look back, look at that last value from that header. So let's go back into my worksheet and close it out. So that's how you can append worksheets together that have generic tabs. And in those worksheets, we have a particular value in a cell that's across our worksheet that we want to pull out for our category column. And it'll eventually provide that value there. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.